Hey YouTube, um, I just received an email about two days ago, well actually a PM, stating that somebody wanted me to go step by step with how I go about making a remake. So basically I just went through and found, uh, found a song that I decided to do and we're just going to take it step by step and figure out the steps it takes to do a remake. So I found an instrumental right here, and I'll just play a little bit for you, and then we're going to find the tempo. So that's the first step. So I guess the tempo is to stock 140. So I just let it play for about 30 seconds or so to make sure that the tempo doesn't, uh, you know, get a little bit slower or faster. That way it can come up here and change it up as needed. Most of, uh, I guess, this beat might have been produced by Lex Luger, but most of his beats are always in 70 BPM, which is 140. Um, I'm sure that you guys can tell in most of my songs I usually make it in 70 because it's a little better on my computer. But I upgraded my computer so now we're going to try uh, just to do it at 140. So now that we have the tempo, we need to grab some sounds. So, you know, I listened to the song a few times so I, and I watched a couple remakes that are already on YouTube so I kind of have an idea with what's uh, going on on there. So, so now we're going to figure out, um, basically, we're going to figure out the key that this song is in. So the way to do that, I know for sure there's orchestra hits in there. So I like to start with the, with like the low notes first, that way you can play around with it after. So, um, let's see, we're going to open this back up, and you just play along with it to kind of get a feel with what the notes are, so. So the low notes is basically what we just figured out. So we're going to drop that down a octave, just like that. Uh, this is the orchestra kits. I got it out of a couple of Lex kits that... Uh, I ended up downloading. Um, I, when I upload this video, I'll have a link in the description with a FOP file that you guys can get all the sounds that I'm using. So uh, basically, when you take these or hits, orchestra hits, you want to layer it with some kind of strings or something to give it that uh, feel. So we're going to go on and lay this part down. So click wait record everything it's probably going to be really laggy because I'm recording but let's see how it works otherwise I might have to enter them manually so let's see Let's see how that 
that worked out. Alright, so where are they at right there? Oh yeah, it's definitely laggy. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this weight off and then we're gonna quantize it and see if that fixes anything. Alright, so we have that part. So now you're just going to copy this. And we're going to grab some kind of strings. Um, in one of the remakes I saw this guy use uh, the Marcado strings. So we're going to figure out how that sounds. Well. Also saw him add some brass shots, so we're gonna do that. Alright, so now that we have uh, basically the baseline down, we're going to go ahead and make a pattern too. And this is going to be all of our, uh, our mid strings and mid arc hits. So we're just going to grab basically the same things we already have. Um, so we'll grab these strings and uh, brass hits. And then now we have to figure out what the melody is on the on it. This song is pretty simple.
that sounds about right. So we're going to go on and lay that down now. Quantize and let's pray. So that sounds about right. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we're just going to... So we have pattern one, pattern two. So let's see. Basically, we know that the song is what is it like three minutes, four minutes maybe. So we're gonna lay this down. I'm not sure how long this song needs to be, but we'll figure it out later when we put everything in. So now we're going to play it together. and then we'll start. So now for pattern three, we're going to add um, a higher level orchestra hit because I notice on the song when it hits the, the chorus or whatever, it's it plays a little higher. So right there we got, um, it goes a little higher, so we're going to clone this because we might have to adjust the levels individually, alright? So you don't want to go in and layer on top of something that you already put down. So you always want to have a new sound, no matter what, because most likely it's not going to be at the same audio level. Alright, so we're going to that.
So we're going to choose uh, the D, D sharp 6. That sounds about the level that it's at. So we're going to record it now. quantize it, fix the levels on the bottom. For some reason my left hand plays a lot higher than my right hand, I don't know why. But it's pretty much quantized down. And then, oops, we already quantized it. Oops. Alright, and then we're going to select it all. figure out how we want to do this. Oh, well, it's not going to be exactly the same as the song, but it's going to sound close. And that's what we do. For some reason I thought that's what it would have been, but it doesn't sound right. So we need to find some different ones. Hypersound. So it sounds closest to anything. So we're just gonna lay that down manually. So I definitely did it wrong. I mean, I did it right, but I have to shift this over because it comes on the on the offbeat. So we're gonna select it all, move it over one. 
Uh, one more thing. So, to select all of your stuff, you would just press Control A. That would select. Control C copies it. All right. Control V pastes it, and then Control X deletes whatever is highlighted. And then also to quantize everything, which is already quantized, but you would press Alt Q. All right. And so it it makes it however you, they think you want it to be and then you can change the sensitivity and everything but we're just going to reset it because it was always already quantized so we're just going to exit out So basically this is just for for uh, video sake we don't have very much time so we got to get this get this going so I'm gonna go in and stop this how it is right now and then we're gonna work on the drums in the next video so remember like sub comment subscribe if you guys have any questions with how I did anything be sure to leave a comment and I will get back to you that day so uh, I'm gonna go in and end this one and start up a new one so, thanks.